Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about reducing fractions to lowest terms. So how do we reduce fractions to lowest terms? So in reducing fractions to lowest terms, we're gonna use the concept of GCF or Greatest Common Factor. So I already have a previous video about that. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link of that video in the description so you can check it first because we're gonna use the concept of GCF in reducing fractions to lowest terms. Okay? But how do we say in the first place if the fractions is in lowest term already? So basically, fractions are said to be in lowest terms if the numerators and denominators have GCF of only 1. For example, let's say we have the fraction 3 fourths. So this fraction is already in lowest terms because the numerator 3 and 4 has a greatest common factor of only 1 already. So therefore, 3 fourths is already in simplest form. Likewise, 5 over 7 is already in simplest form because the GCF of numerator 5 and denominator 7 is only 1. Okay? Now, in the case where the GCF of the numerator and denominator is other value than 1, then we can say that the fraction is not yet in lowest term. So we can still reduce them to lowest term by finding the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator and dividing both numerator and denominator by that GCF. For example, let's say we have the simple fraction 4 eighths. So if we try to list the factors of 4 and 8, so for 4, we have the factors of 1, 2, and 4, right? For 8, we have the factors of 1, 2, 4, and 8, right? So as we can see, the greatest common factor for 4 and 8 is 4. So therefore, to reduce 4 over 8 into its lowest term, we divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF, which is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 over 8 divided by 4 is 2. So therefore, the lowest term of 4 over 8 is 1 half. Likewise, if you want to find the lowest term of 15 over 20. So if we try to find the factors of 15 and 20, we have for 15, 1, 3, 5, and 15. For 20, we have the factors of 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So looking at these factors, we see that the greatest common factor of 15 and 20 is 5, right? So therefore, to reduce 15 over 20 into lowest term, we simply divide the numerator 15 by 5 and the denominator 20 by 5. So it will be 15 divided by 5 is 3 over 20 divided by 5 is 4. So therefore, 15 over 20 in simplest form is 3 fourths. Okay? Now, another way of reducing fractions to lowest terms is by using prime factorization and cancellation. So, let's say if you want to find the lowest term of 24 over 36, so we can find the prime factorization of both the numerator and denominators first. So, if you haven't watched yet about my video about prime factorization, I will just put the link on the description of the video so you can check it also. So, the prime factorization of 24, when we write it, is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, right? Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 24. Likewise, getting the prime factorization of 36, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And then, after we have found the prime factorization of numerator and denominator, we apply cancellation. That is, we will cancel out similar factors in the numerator and denominator. So, we can see that 2 and 2 can be cancelled out in numerator and denominator. Likewise, this 2 and 2 in the denominator can be cancelled out. And this 3 in numerator and this 3 in denominator can be cancelled out. So that what is left is... On the numerator, we only have 2. Over on the denominator, we only have 3. So therefore, the lowest term of 24 over 36 is 2 thirds. Okay? Likewise, if we try to find the lowest term of 60 over 126, we can find the prime factorization of numerator 60, which is 2 times 2 
time is 3 times 5, right? And the prime factorization of the denominator 126 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 7, right? Then we can cancel out common factor in the numerator and denominator. So we can cancel out the 2 and the 3. So what is left on the numerator is just 2 times 5 over in the denominator what is left is 3 times 7. So if we multiply 2 times 5, we have 10 over 3 times 7 which is 21. So therefore, the lowest term of 60 over 126 is simply 10 over 21. Okay? Now another way of reducing a fraction to lowest term is by dividing both numerator and denominator partially by an obvious factor that is common to the numerator and denominator. And then after that, if you find out that the result is not in lowest term, you can again do the same process by dividing both numerator and denominator by their common factor. For example, let's have 30 over 42. So obviously, 30 and 42 can be divided exactly by 2, right? Since they are both even numbers. So if we try to divide 30 by 2, it will be 15 over 42 divided by 2, it will be 21, right? But the resulting fraction, 15 over 21, is not yet in lowest term. Because it is obvious that 15 and 21 has still a common factor of 3, right? So we can still divide both numerator and denominator by a common factor of 3. So that we have 15 divided by 3 on the numerator, we have 5. Over 21 divided by 3 on the denominator, we have 7. So obviously, 5 over 7 is already in lowest term because the GCF of 5 and 7 is 1. Okay? Likewise, if we try to find the lowest term of 75 over 100, so obviously, 75 and 100 are divisible by 5, so we can divide both numerator and denominator by 5. So 75 divided by 5 is equal to 15, and 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. But again, 15 over 20 is not yet in lowest term because 15 and 20 have still a common factor, obviously, of 5 again. So we can divide both numerator and denominator by 5 again so that the lowest term will be 15 divided by 5 on numerator, we have 3, over 20 divided by 5 on denominator, we have 4. Finally, 3 fourths is already in lowest term because the GCF of numerator 3 and denominator 4 is already 1. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, reducing fractions to lowest terms. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.